Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm excited to be back um, and today's gonna be a pretty fun day. I'm taking Grace to Legal Land this morning and then we have some errands to run and some party prep to do because Grace's first birthday party is tomorrow. Her actual birthday was on Wednesday so she is officially one. We have a toddler in the house and then tomorrow we're just having a, a little get together, a little barbecue in the backyard. It's strawberry themed. Her uh, we're calling it her very first birthday. <laughs> Let me show you the invitation, hold on. I had to find something to cover the address with, but how freaking cute is that? I'm excited and it's it's really just been fun to celebrate her all week. And I'm excited to take her to Legoland again today. We always just have so much fun there. So I'm gonna go get dressed and ready. Um, It's 8.15, I wanna try to be out of here by 8.45 and Grace is still sleeping. So I'll, I'll probably wake her up pretty soon so that I can get her ready, we can have breakfast. Do I have time for a quick garden tour? Because I really wanted to show you guys the garden updates. Or should I do it when I get back? You know what? Nope. Let, let's let's go. Because I I'm really excited to show you guys the progress. Do do do. Steven working on the pool, getting it ready for Grace's birthday. Pool well, has a little buildup of calcium, so uh, throwing some of this guy. Then uh, we need some acid for sure. Last night I cleaned out the filters. It's uh, it's been a day. <laughs> And it's only the morning. Lots to do. I am gonna give a garden tour. Ooh, yeah, the garden has changed quite a bit, hasn't it? It has. <laughs> All right, so here is the garden. It is doing really, really well. I think the last time I showed you guys that these are the tomato plants here and here. I think the last time I showed you guys these was like right after I transferred them. They are doing super well. I have uh, tomato cages on three of them. I have no idea why. This this tomato plant is thriving on like a completely different level <laughs> than the rest. But this one is just so like thick and full. We have two more right here in big pots that really need tomato cages. So that's one of the errands that I'm gonna try to run today because as you can see, they're a little wobbly. They need some structure to help them grow. I have a third tomato seedling here, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna give it away to another family or friend because I, I just didn't expect all of the tomato plants to take off like this. And we are gonna have have so many tomatoes. So I don't think I'm gonna bother transferring this one to like the ground or a big pot. I'm just gonna give it away. And then these small little guys here are the bell pepper seedlings, which I just transferred a few days ago. We've got four here in this bed, one in this big pot, and then four more in little pots. But this is not a big enough size for a bell pepper. So eventually they're gonna have to be transferred to a bigger pot, which I do have one more of. I just ran out of dirt. So I'm gonna get some more soil today and uh, I actually only need one more big pot because these two are going to Skylar and I gave the rest of them away to family and friends. There was like eight more. Over here, this used to be radishes and carrots, but all the radishes have now been harvested. We picked them, we ate them, they were delicious. We, we used them on top of uh, tacos one night, which was really yummy. And the carrots are almost ready. I think maybe like one more week. There also used to be more carrots and radishes in the front of this garden bed, but they just didn't take well. So I decided to just scrap them and then that way I had more room for uh, two more bell peppers. What I put at the front of this garden bed didn't take well either. It was a uh, green onion. And as you can see, there's just like a couple little strands, but the zucchini on the other hand is thriving. All four of them took, but this one is just like monstrous. And they're starting to flower. So we will hopefully have some delicious zucchinis pretty soon. If you remember, I also tried planting some zucchini here in the ground, but this has like a lot of sand. So we weren't sure if it was gonna take it didn't. Also, literally only one of my sunflowers took, but I'm still watering this guy every day. So we we may we may at least get one sunflower. And last but not least, our strawberries. I feel like we we have like five or six ripe every day. So usually Grace and I just come out here and pick them and eat them. Ooh, that looks like a good one. I'm just gonna eat this one now. <laughs> mm. I truly think there is no better tasting food than food you grew yourself. So yeah, that is our garden update here. Now I better go get ready and wake Grace up because uh, we were trying to leave in like 
20 minutes. <laughs> All right, just parked at Legoland and it is pretty empty in the parking lot at least. Actually, I was thinking about it. I'm pretty sure today is the last day of school and Legoland gets super crowded in the summer. So this is probably our last just like chill, no lines, empty park day at Legoland for a while. So let's make the most of it, Grace. Grace holding Charmander's hand as we walk under the big Legoland sign. Wow. Yeah, we're going to Legoland. We're heading to the Coast Cruise, which is like the big boat ride over there. It is now 1 p.m. Uh, we finished up at Legoland, went back home, got Grace down for a nap, and Steven is watching her now so that Jess and I, hello Jess, hello. <laughs> could go to Best Buy and buy a flip phone for my main channel video. <laughs> what are your thoughts on uh, me using this phone for a week? That's the video that I'm doing, uh, a week without my iPhone. Well, when you pulled it out in the store and she started typing on it, literally the sound gave me dopamine. Yes. It unlocked something in my brain. And doing this. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta get the sound. I gotta get the sound. Hold on. Well, there we go. <laughs> like having a heated debate and then going, oh gosh, I, my my thumb's getting in the way. I can't close it dramatically. Okay. I have to like relearn all of this. You're gonna throw it like a boomerang and it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna smash the windshield. I have to go. Yes! That. That was satisfying. That was it. I hope that was satisfying for you as well. So heading back home now, and then uh, when Grace wakes up, we're gonna go uh, run a couple more errands. Yeah. All right, we are in Lowe's. I got my best girl here with me. So many pretty flowers to look at, huh? All right, we found the tomato cages. Yes, those are the tomato cages. One, two, three, perfect. Now we need a big bag of dirt. Perfect. There we go. All right, now we're gonna head back inside and look for, we've gotta pick a pot for that last bell pepper seedling. I think, let me check, I use this app called uh, From Seed to Spoon, and that's been really great because it basically tells you exactly what all these different fruits and vegetables need. So let's check. Should we check? I think it said, okay, we have to type bell pepper. How big of a pot do we need? 10 gallons. What do you think? Does this one look good? I'm gonna touch it. Check it out. I think this'll do just fine. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but this these were the only three things I wrote down, so hopefully that's everything we needed. We are gonna head to check out, maybe uh, stop and look at the flowers on our way out. Mm. Those are sunflowers. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there's a bee on it. I think they're pollinating. <laughs> High five. Mm. Yay! Good job. Mm. That was a fun little trip, huh? Mm. <laughs> All right, Party City, let's go. All right, we got plates, napkins, and forks all in red, matching the berry theme. Ooh, look at the straws. What do you think? Should we get those for the strawberry lemonade? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put them in the cart. Oh yay, I was hoping they would have one of these, like a drink dispenser, but I wasn't sure. I've been wanting to get something like this for a while. I feel like it's nice to have for like hosting and barbecues, but just didn't get around to buying one. Um, so I'm gonna get this. Ah, yes, there's so many balloons, huh? We have to pick a few for your birthday. All right, got the goods, picking up the balloons tomorrow, and got Grace this Minnie Mouse balloon because she loved it. Hey! <laughs> You love your mini balloon, huh? All right, next stop on our Aaron's extravaganza, Ulta. I am completely out of shampoo and conditioner. Keep Minnie Mouse popping in and out of the frame. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Stocking up on my favorite shampoo and conditioner for my reset washes. A little bit of a struggle doing this uh, while holding a baby and the basket and the vlog, but we're making it work. Yeah. 
Yeah, me, you, and Minnie. Now we need to grab my uh, daily shampoo and conditioner. Okay, this is it. The Not Your Mother's Tahitian Gardenia. It's, this is my go-to shampoo and conditioner. But they changed the packaging. I think it's, it's more eco-friendly now, which is super cool. But I didn't recognize it at first. This took me forever to find it. <laughs> you just hey. wave into everyone. Well, we were at the grocery store, our last stop for errands, making good progress in the cart. The last stop, uh, we we need berries. We're doing like a little DIY angel food cake berry whipped cream station. So we got a big thing of strawberries, raspberries, and my camera died, uh, but we need blueberries. They don't have any of the big containers of blueberries, so I'm just gonna do three small ones. I think that'll be good. Yay. Yay. You want to eat? Yeah, we're gonna go home after this and then we can have dinner. Good morning. It is the next day. Steven and I are continuing the party prep. There is a lot to do. So he's getting outside already. I am working on the decorations. So I just strung together this banner that I bought online uh, that we're gonna put on the front of her high chair. It says one, but the O is a strawberry. How freaking cute is that? And then I also got this uh, little hanging banner where we're gonna put a, a photo of Grace from each month of her life. So just started stringing this together. And then uh, when I go out later to pick up the balloons, I also have to pick up the photos from CVS. So I'm just gonna finish stringing this and then uh, put on the little paper clips, not paper clips, clothes pins. This is what the photos are gonna hang from. And then your girl needs to shower and I really need to wash my hair. Haven't in like four days because uh, completely ran out of shampoo and conditioner, but we solved that yesterday. So we need a wash. All right, it's currently noon. We've got two hours until the party starts. I just made a, a quick run into Target, grabbed some last minute serving things. Now I'm pulled up at CVS, gonna run in, get the photos, and um, also ice. Hopefully they have ice at CVS. I'm not sure if they do. If not, I'll have to make another stop. Uh, and then the balloons should be ready for pickup in like 15 minutes. So hoping to be back home by one o'clock. So I have an hour to finish setting everything up. Let's do it. Yay. I think two bags should be good perfect oh my gosh the photos <laughs> all right balloons are in and I'm currently running like 30 minutes ahead of schedule it's only 12 20 this just was super super quick which is great because I was a little bit worried about the ice melting since I got it before the balloons but th this was so quick I don't think that's gonna be a problem got the balloons and I got three of these uh, balloon weights. So I just have to figure out uh, how I wanna group them. All right, first balloon set kind of blowing all over the place, but we have the big silver one, a couple reds, a white, a green back there. I might need to secure this a little bit more because it is blowing all over the place, but I wanted it to just be like right here by the grill because we're gonna have all the food out right here. So we have the balloons. Our original plan for the food was to grill, to barbecue, do burgers and everything, but uh, our barbecue broke. So a couple days ago, Steven and I were like, we're, we're just gonna pull an audible here. Decided to just order the food. So we're getting Luna Grill, which is, you know, Mediterranean. I feel like it's it's a big crowd pleaser. And that's getting delivered right at two. So it's been nice to not even have to like worry about the food. Just the desserts and you know, chips and, and that kind of stuff. Anyways, the rest of the balloons. And then here we've got uh, the two reds and a green, two reds and a white. And right in between them here is where I'm gonna hang the photo banner. So actually I should probably space these out a little bit more. The banner's a little bit bigger than that. Cool. And then these last three, I'm gonna go tie out by the front door. Steven's been uh, holding down the fort here and got Grace down for a nap. Yes, Grace is asleep right now. Um, I'm doing some dishes and then it gets last, last minute touches on outside and we'll be good to go. Oh my gosh, the, <laughs> putting this up really just hit me in the feels. I got uh, surprisingly emotional, but it is up. We have all these cute little pictures of my sweet baby girl through the months. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But if you'll notice, there is not one yet for the 12. And that is because when Grace wakes up, I'm gonna take a picture of her on the Polaroid camera and add it to number 12. My baby is one. Oh my gosh. 
All right, now getting the drinks ready, we've got this bucket with some assorted white claws and strawberry kiwi uh, juice pouches. And then this, I think I already said, is gonna be for the strawberry lemonade. But before I put that in, I wanna chop up some lemons and strawberries to put in with the strawberry lemonade. Like 90% for aesthetic, but maybe it'll boost the taste by 10%. Oh my god. Oh my god. The valve was open. There's lemonade everywhere. I got it. I got it. You're fine. You're fine. I got it. Is it everywhere? everywhere? It's everywhere. Okay. Minor hiccup. We're good now. <sighs> now where was I? Lemonade. Now we'll add in our ice. Lemons. See, doesn't that just look pretty? Actually, I don't think you can even see it from... <laughs> that angle, but trust me, it looks pretty. And strawberries. See, doesn't that look pretty? All right, lid on. That is ready to go outside. And then this bowl of strawberries I cut up for the uh, angel food cake. And then I need to put the raspberries and blueberries in these bowls as well. Perfect. And then, oh, this I, I got this morning at Target and I thought it would be perfect for the little angel food cake minis. We can just kind of line them up here, but I'm gonna do that uh, like right before we serve this. Oh, I need to do the margaritas like this. So I got some ice in my pitcher and then I'm just gonna pour in, we just bought uh, like a pre-made ready to drink margarita mix. So I'm just gonna pour that right in. Throw some strawberries in. I was gonna put lemon like I did for the lemonade, but I feel like a margarita, a lime would be more suited than lemon, but I don't have any limes. I think I'll just do, I'll just leave it with just the strawberries. All right, so drinks are ready to go. That was, that was really the last thing. I've got like 15 minutes here, so I'm just gonna run and change and then set this up outside. Gotta tidy up the kitchen again, uh, take care of the scraps, and then I think we're ready. Oh, almost forgot. Gotta fill uh, our two glass bottles here up with, water boom and boom now all the beverages are ready all right last minute change i decided to do the drinks out by the barbecue and the food inside also put little labels for the lemonade and the margarita oh i need the cups cups and straws <laughs> all right we got the balloons the straws the cups and then i cut up some more lemons and just put them out here on a plate that way if anyone wants to garnish their drink with one they can all right food just got here i'm gonna lay this all out and see Steven's parents got here and they brought two towers of strawberries. Also, I still need to hang this sign on the front of Grace's high chair and put Grace's present in the gift bag. We bought her a baby karaoke machine. I could not help myself. I'm so excited. I'm excited for her to try it and low-key, maybe me as well. <laughs> Do, 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 do. And then her second present, a little Duplo farm set. Got another bag for that at Target this morning. There we go. All right, I'm ready and Grace is starting to stir. So I think we're about ready to get this party started. Overwhelming All right, ready? Should we sing, Should we sing, sing it quietly? Let's sing, but we can sing kind of quietly. quietly. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Can you blow it out? Ready? Yay! Yay! Good job, Gracie. Good job. Yay! Oh my gosh. 
All right, it is now way later in the evening. Sierra's in the shower, finishing up, getting cleaned up. Um, I'm trying to like get the pieces of cleaning up going here. Um, Sierra actually was doing a lot while I was upstairs giving Grace a bath. Um, it was such a fun day. I don't know if Grace was like just super opened up, having such a great time, or kind of had a little bit of the sugar rush from the day, or like having cake for the first time. By the end of the party, she was like so just energetic and having fun. And she was just laughing and giggling and it was just really fun. And Sierra kicked butt as we saw earlier, um, setting all this up. So but yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Happy birthday to Gracie girl. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye.